mention AIDS in this day and age for black young gay people or well, people of color in general. AIDS is a part of reality and it's a calling that has to be addressed. He didn't he didn't look sick and he didn't you know he was dancing in the club just like usual and then just one day he was gone. And I never took AIDS and HIV the, the, the disease seriously until I've seen people close to me gone and pass away from the disease. We lost a lot of kids. The ballroom is, is basically not the same anymore because a lot of kids have passed on and they were young. That's the sad thing about it. They were young and they didn't get a chance to live their life, you know, to the fullest. You know, you get numb after a while, but every time it happens, it just hits you. You know, it's just like a fresh smack in the face. You may be used to being smacked, but each time you get smacked, it still there's a sting. The houses originally came into being because some mature gay men wanted to provide a safe space for people who ran away from home or who got kicked out of their houses to create a new home for them, so they could have some semblance of a family, in addition to being gay. And I think that the House of Latex that continues to do that, here we are, a family gathered together. Everybody deserves this kind of AIDS, HIV prevention information, and we, as the House of Latex, can show up and share this information, and that provides power um, in the communities of the houses, the power of knowledge. Work. All right. All right. Your house, um, every time I come out to a ball or a different function, I see your tables are set up. But, you know, a lot of people, they take the condoms, condoms and everything, but a lot of people don't. In the beginning, when the House of Latex came out, kids really didn't see them at all. Because they, they didn't know who you guys were. They had no idea who's the House of Latex. But now they have proven themselves enough that we feel comfortable with them. We look at them like they're part of us. Where in the beginning, we didn't even look at them at all. And it came, they came a long way. And they came forth to saying what they had to say and to show what they had to show and to open our minds and open our hearts to what's really going on in the world. We all have this energetic, thing in us, and we're all educating ourselves so we can educate others. We have a determination to teach them. And a lot of people are willing to learn and willing to listen. And what I most like is that we're not only doing outreach to prevent the spread of the virus, but to also do outreach to people that are also infected. Me, myself, speaking for myself, I've been positive for five years now. and. Where there's a will, there's a way. You know, if, if, if you're not infected, do whatever you have to do to protect yourself. And for people that are, enjoy life and prolong it as much as possible. Thank you. There's a lot you can say, but it's more stuff to be done than be said. You know, I'd rather do something than say something. I had an opportunity to get involved with the House of Latex and what it stood for. Um, intervening in the community that I'm in, which is the black and Latino community, and the scene that we do, and what we're involved in, and what we thrive on, which is the bull scene. And what I do in terms of the House of Latex and what I've been trying to do, I try to make sure that, you know, they use condoms, you know, so on and so forth. Understand what's going on. You can tell a person once, you can tell a person twice, but they have to take it among themselves to listen and do it and take it themselves. We're not here to educate anyone who's not in the house scene. We're part of educating the house scene and being a part of the house scene. That's why we exist. 
because we need it. We need to bring it forth. And once this is out, you know, once this information is out to the community and they understand it, because a lot of things is fear. A lot of fears, you know, people have died in the house scene and they all have recognized that they all have given their memorials and their props to their, you know, their families and loved ones that have died in the house. But I think it's time for us to recognize them and it's time for us to really put out ourselves, not only as the house of latex, I think the other houses has to bring themselves forth and say, you know, we have to do something about this epidemic and we have to be really more active in fighting this disease. Well, I came from a real sheltered environment, like academic and all, and so everything was just like theory. It was, wasn't like real life ways of reaching out to people, really. So when I came here to New York and just started getting involved in volunteering at the House of Latex, it was like I saw real people and how AIDS really affected them instead of reading about it in magazines or books or whatever. And so it became really real current in my life as opposed to just something you hear about. I know a bunch of people that are, are, are living with it, dying with it, have it, um, as how it's affecting me and, and always being aware of it since high school. Um, always was to educate and promote, help um, protect. Knowing that right now, even right now, my mother's dying of AIDS. No one really knows that until just now. But um, yeah, she has it, so she's dying. Even during my addiction, I practice safe sex because it's very important to remember your body is the only thing that you have that you can call your own. And if you don't care for yourself, who will? A lot of women in my house come to me to ask me questions and to get into what to do and to help them. And I tell them to just be themselves because when the ball scene started out, it was all about gay people being there for other gay people. We've gotten away from that. We've gotten away from you being here for me and me being here for you. Now it's all about a trophy, $16, and what we can do. So if anybody comes to me, whether they be in another house, if they're young, or if they're new on the ball scene, I give them as much help as I can because I know Elena, Hakeem, the mother of my house who died from AIDS, helped me. He helped me. And he was like, Miss Singh, don't worry about it. Because that wasn't my category. I didn't walk woman's face. And he was like, Miss Singh, don't worry. You're sitting. He was there for me. He was my friend. He made balls exciting to me. And I think that we need to make balls exciting for the children coming up. But we also need to send a message to them that this is not all about fun and this is not all about a trophy. This is all about what we can do for each other to help each other and to teach each other. Because that's what balls are about. I don't care about the trophy. I don't care about the tens across the board. What you should care about is the fact that I can touch this wall and I can reach out and touch you, but I can't touch my friend Hakeem and I can't touch my aunt Valina and I can't touch the people that mean the most to me. There are a lot of aware people, but their voices are not loud enough yet. We need a lot of voices to speak. A lot of the legends, a lot of the big people, they need to come out and speak and be aware, because only then the message in the boardroom, that is, will be, you know, adhered to or followed. I hope if I'm not involved in the house, the house scene, or if I step out of this, or if any of my children step out of there, that a condom is given to me by the house of Chanel, Gautier, Masuda, any of the other houses, and say, hey, here's a condom. You need to protect yourself. You know, there's a, you know, a disease that's killing all of us, and we need to do that. Five years from now, I don't want the house of Latex to do that. I want the other houses to be empowered to give us the same message back to us. There's something else. No, I was going to say, I, and that's why we're doing the peer education in the house community. Because, you know, five years from now, if the House of Latex does not exist, guess what? The message is there because we're training individuals who are part of the houses to be peer educators for themselves, for their houses, and for the community. So if we step out of our role or anything happens and the House of Latex is not here, we're making peer educators in this community so people will be there. Somebody will be there to carry that message on. Hit the 
o'clock. Bring it. Three times, category two. 